I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News headlines. Small businesses throughout Baltimore will have more access to Paycheck Protection Program forgivable loans. This is part of the partnership with the Opportunity Fund, a nonprofit small business micro lender. Businesses located in Baltimore City that didn't get a PPP loan in 2020 can apply for that first PPP loan through Opportunity Fund's online application. We have a link to it on our website on WMAR2news.com. The Relief Act has cleared the way for direct stimulus payments to about 400,000 low to moderate income Marylanders who claim the earned income tax credit. The problem is their populations like immigrant taxpayers, married couples that file separately, or anyone in custodial relationships that qualify for the credit that will be left out of receiving those funds. The Maryland Senate is considering a bill that would be an expansion to the earned income tax credit and create a new child tax credit. The other piece of that um, of that bill, because it was related to the child tax credit, is to help um, very low income family households. So those who make less than six thousand dollars and have a child who um, has a disability. Uh, that that would give them a $500 credit. And so again, that's just another boost um, to this very vulnerable um, population that really needs the support now. Robin McKinney, the co-founder and CEO of Cash Campaign of Maryland, says it's rare for tax policy being made in the same year that it has to be implemented on the state level. So if you can wait to file your taxes, wait. The bill, Senate Bill 218, was on the floor today. For more information, head to our website at WMAR2news.com. A dry weekend in the forecast. Temperatures this morning in the 20s, warming into the 30s as we head into the afternoon, but don't get excited. We're not going far into the 30s, uh, barely getting into the low 30s, and it will be a struggle. Mix of sun and clouds throughout the day. Daytime highs hit 32 in the city, 33 in Annapolis, 34 out in Easton. And then we get a little bit of a bump on Sunday up to the upper 30s, and then we're into the 40s on Monday, but we're watching the system bring a chance of rain and some wintry mix early in the day, and then we're dry for Tuesday. Daytime highs warming towards the upper 50s by Wednesday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on our top stories and breaking news. And for weather to go, make sure you download the WMER2 News app in the App Store. You can take a look at our live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.